So today's video, in case all of you didn't know it, yes, I am a UPS driver. I have been a UPS driver and worked for UPS since 1994. Uh, I've made a career of it. And I want to share some tips with you today to hopefully help save you some gas and to try to maximize your time on the road with your car idling. Now, this also will filter in into some safety aspects of this whole situation. Something that UPS has been doing for years, all right? They implemented the right turn only type situation. Now, in recent years, they have updated systems and new programs have come out, new computers, new dyads, and those have changed things in a sense. But still the standard rule of law is you always wanna make sure you're doing a right hand turn. For one, you're idling less doing a right-hand turn than you are a left-hand turn. For two, you also are, it's more safe to turn right than it is to turn left if you have to especially cross traffic. So doing right-hand turns is a big benefit to you and to save gas in your vehicle while you're out running your errands. Now, when you are going to be running your errands, you want to make sure that you are running your errands and plan ahead on how you're going to do it. You basically, you want to try to do a loop and come back to your house. You don't want to go from this store to that store, then back over here to this store. So if you know you got to hit four or five stores, you're going out, you do it in a loop and try to do it to where you're doing the most right turns possible. Now you should know your area. You should be aware of where your stores are, if they're on the right side, the left side, or whatever it may be. So maybe you go up one side of the street and you hit those stores that you have to hit, and then you come back down the other side of the street, and then you hit those stores, and then you come back to your house. If you actually think about it, it only makes sense. And UPS has been using this for a very, very long time, and it's a very effective tool that they have implemented. It's a very safety tool also. So I wanted to bring you this quick video today on ways that you maybe can change the way you drive and the way you go from your stores and making sure that you're doing right turns. For one, it's gonna save you gas, folks. And for two, it's more safe for you and your family in the vehicle while you are traveling. The last part is, is just obeying the speed limits. It's a no brainer. If you slow down and just do the speed limit, you're gonna save more gas than what you really realize. Everybody is in a rush nowadays, and I understand that. You know, people's got places to go, people to see, and things to do, right? But if you really sit back and think about it, when every time you fill that car up and it's costing you 30, 40, 50 bucks or more, depending on what kind of car you have, you know, it's going to be able to save you money in the long run. So remember folks, you wanna do right turns, you wanna plan out your route, you wanna to try to avoid as many left turns as possible, and you also wanna be doing the speed limit. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all found this a little bit interesting. Hopefully it was good information for you, and it makes you think about the next time you walk out the door, where am I going, and what am I gonna be doing? And how many right turns can I take to save money in this time when inflation and gas prices and everything else is rising? If we can save a little bit of money, it's going to be a beautiful thing. So until next time, folks, I hope you all stay safe, keep prepping, and remember, always take those right turns. I'll catch you all on the flip side.